Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be testing and reviewing these uh, brass knuckles for the SCX24. There it is on the screen. Bought it from Amazon. It's six dollars, but with all the fees and shipping, it's about eleven dollars. So I know I haven't been really posting a lot, but I'm. Uh, this is a new channel. I'm just trying to get used to things. But while you're there, hit that subscribe button and maybe give me a you know, like. All right, so here is the product from Amazon shipped by UPS, which is kind of weird, but whatever. They do have weight, and it comes with its own Allen key and hardware. So first of all, with this, I don't have anything else to test it on, but we'll test how, um, how steep this thing can climb without anything else besides these aluminum uh, aluminum rims and hot storm tires and we have some double barrel shocks no springs so it rides at its stock ride height and with this filter i'm gonna see how far this sex 24 can climb up before we add on the brass knuckles oh and i can't forget we recently added this endura emax servo that came with the aluminum servo horn and aluminum servo mount all right, so this is 48 degrees. I honestly kind of have some doubt that it'll make it up here. Try that again. The real measurement for this I measured with the actual tool was 52 degrees. Now it's at 48 degrees. Put that up on screen for proof. And let's see how it does. Maybe if you give it some power. All right. So I'd say 48 degrees right now is its limit. So now that we tested that with only aluminum, sh alum nope, not shocks, aluminum rims, hot storm tires, and double barrel shocks. Wait, can't forget the Endura uh, Emax servo kit. This can climb 48 degrees. Which I feel like is kind of off, because I'm measuring it from a angle measurement app on my phone. But needless enough to say, let's start to actually put these knuckles on. They look like they're going to do some, do some work, too. Alright, so basically, almost all the time I work on my SCX24, I'll actually remove the body. Sometimes with this uh, swivel mount on the back, it'll sometimes flop over and come back down which can get pretty annoying so we're just gonna go ahead and take off this body which way am i going yep that way so take off the body i promise you your life will be so much more easier there it is make sure you put your screws somewhere where you can remember them because these are some small screws for these 24 scale trucks now what i'm gonna do is go ahead Remove the tires, just so we can get access to these knuckles here. So, there you yep. Take the tires off. Okay, so we got the tire off. If you want to take off the bumper, you can, but I feel like it's fine. So we'll see. What are some things we can do to free up space? First off, we can take uh, the links off. Something easy. Finally got some good lighting. Whoa some sunlight not actual light all right so take the steering links off of the knuckles i mean this isn't really a how-to i guess not but all right and don't forget to take off your hexes and your pins put that in the spot you remember same thing on the other side see there's this pin these pins are pretty small, and from the looks of it, they don't come with extra pins for your drive shafts. Now that we got all of the um, links off and everything, this this flashlight shows a lot of stuff that I don't see on my truck. Yeah, but I think we're good like this. So we got everything off that we need to get off to make this a whole lot easier. So we can go ahead and just take the knuckles off. Pretty sure there's nothing else I got to do. It comes with extra knuckles, 
I mean, <laughs> extra screws. Let's get the top. Yeah, I am working on a carpet right now. Because I can't really find a good setup in this house. We're currently moving out, too. So. Alright. So, we gotta do... What is this? Screw. Okay. Is now... Zoom in. Gotta take the secondary part of the axle out. That's what it looks like. Won't focus. Alright, so I guess if we go a bit longer out. Take that part out. You're gonna get your screwdriver. Oh, what the heck did it go? So yeah, you're gonna go and push out these bearings. Let's see. Yep, where are they? Now you're gonna wanna keep these bearings. And you do not have to grease them up again. So, let's open this. Hi, right, wow, look at that. These actually have some good weight to them. And guess what? They were $11. Only 11 Yeah, these feel like they got a good amount of weight to them. I do not have a scale on me right now. But yeah, here's the knuckles. And let's get this hardware out. And hardware. Boom. Oh, I dropped something. What did I drop? Oh, it's one of those little brass things. Oh, here it is. There. All right. So, let's see. Which one? Okay. So, yeah. I think that's how it goes. Yeah, they can go on any side, flip them upside down or what, whatever. All right. So, now we're going to put our bush in. Bush in. Not bush in. Not bush in. Put our bushings in and boom. They just slip in like that. And look at that. Wow, they look really nice. Right, so now we're going to put our secondary axle, front axle. I don't know what they call it, so I'm just going to do say that. Put that in there. Oh, our bushing fell out. All right, now we need that pin to hold it in. Let's see, where's that bastard pin? All right, put the pin in. Like that. And then put the hex on. Just like that. Alright, so I noticed that these bearings, I actually call them bushings, but these bearings are actually slipping out of their slot. And I think that might be a problem. But once we have everything in, I think we'll be fine. Oh yeah, that might be a problem. Alright, so I put it in the different axle. I mean, not the axle, the different, um, thing, what'd you call it? The different knuckle. And I have no idea if it helped or not, but we're going to hope it did. Let's see. All right, so I got the hardware in a different spot. So now what we're going to do is put that ax that second ax axle part in, slide it into the axle that is in the... Whew. That's already in the, the axle, the... the um the housing all right so now that we got it on what we need to do is grab one of these one of these small parts these like thing i don't even know bro all right now we're gonna put a screw in between let's see that align that perfectly Sorry, I think this video is going to be a little too long. But I'll try to make it as short as possible. Alright, so when you tighten up these knuckles, you don't want to over tighten them. Because if you do, they're not going to steer freely and will stress out your servo. And working on these SCX24s, these 124 scale trucks are fairly easy for me because I got small hands. But I know a lot of people that work on these and they have little trouble because their hands are pretty big. So what you want to do is get this tight, then loosen it. Just like, uh, now let's see. How, how much of a turn? Want to do that? I don't even know if I had that all in frame, but you want to do this. That's, you just want this to, to uh, turn free, freely. All right, now let's put our um, steering link on. 
Alright. Hoping I'm getting a lot of this stuff um, on video. Boom. Just snugged that up decently. And yeah, let me do this other side off camera because I kind of told you how I got this side in. Well, we're just going to time lapse it. All right, guys, we got the brass knuckles on, and look at that. Doesn't look off in any way. Um, everything went down good. Like, um, nothing bad really happened. So, let's get these tires on and really test it out. All right, so we got the tires on. I did notice that the fitment isn't really right. Oh. Is it just me or is the front wheel sticking out a little bit more? I don't know. So, I don't have the body on right now because I just want to test and make sure everything's right. And... Okay. And the Max Servo does help steer this. So, great. Let's get the body on. Alright, so we're still at the 48 degrees. And let's see the moment of truth. How much weight did this thing really put down? Wow. Look at that. Climb straight up that. Oh, oh. All right, let's put this up a little bit. Oh, that, that's almost vertical. I don't think we'll make it up that. Now it's up to 50 degrees. Now let's see, can we make it? Yes, we can. Up to 50 degrees. I'll see that pass. All right, look at that. We're at least at like 50 something, at least over 50. Uh, and that front is picking up. Yep, not over 50. We got to 50. That's, what is it? 50 minus 49. Oh, how did I not know that? So we gained, he, we gained at least two degrees. Wow. I feel like we gained more than two degrees. So this app might be wrong with some stuff, but I, I promise you, we 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 increase more than two degrees. So, wow, these these um brass knuckles are really good for the price, dude. And the fitment might not be correct, but 
don't pay attention to the reviews. These are really good. Now for today's video question, would you crawl or bash?